Folks, I'm going to have to be entirely honest with you. We are living in some of the most unbelievable, surreal times that are just inexplicable. No other way to say it. The President of the United States, not for very much longer, Joe Biden, does not know how to independently, by himself, use the Internet. And whomever his cadre of advisors is around him, they don't either. And if they do, they don't have the ability to discern what is nonsense from what is real. And whatever your opinion is of Marjorie Taylor Greene, her and her advisors do. Facts first. That's what we're going to do today. Facts first. It is just absolutely jaw-dropping to me that as a YouTuber, I can sit here and use the internet and factually correct the President of the United States and all of the major news organizations with just a few clicks. Now, those of you out there who are watching who oh, get a great deal of enjoyment of channel batting my videos and suspending my channel, stick with me. Facts first. This has been the big mantra of the mainstream media, has it not been for the last how many years? It is absolutely just unbelievable. Now, real quick, thank you. Gratitude first. Everyone joining us at Patreon. God bless all of you for signing up and supporting the Florida Maquis. This is what we're here for. Not living the emotion-based life where you just feel something and then you go feel something else and then you assess your feelings about the first feeling and the second feeling. And that's not how you make any headway in life. You have to have the thought-based life. And that's what we talk about over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, Psychological Operations. If you'd like to join us over there for those kind of videos, it's only one single U.S. dollar per month. And if you sign up for an entire year, it's even less than that. Now, there are other levels, 5, 10, and 15. Brigade commanders, 15. Unit commanders, 10. And need to know at $5. So whatever level you'd like to sign up at, all of it is fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. Hundreds of videos, never before seen on YouTube. God bless all of you who already have. If you'd like to join us, love to have you. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right to it. Two first alert put out this image of all of the hurricanes since 2017 that have made landfall in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, this is all fine and everything here is factually correct. What they left out of this, and they used, of course, the occasions of Hurricane Helene and Milton back-to-back -to, -back to show this. What they don't show are two of the most destructive hurricanes, one in 16 and one in 19, that, while not in the Gulf, still affected Florida. There was Dorian, which behaved incredibly strangely. It came, all, came right through here and just went just this side of Puerto Rico, and then ended up over the Bahamas where it sat motionless. We did videos on this, where Dorian sat motionless for almost two days and just sat there and spun and did nothing and then meandered up the coast, and it caused some problems. It really did. It wasn't technically, didn't make landfall in Florida, so they don't count it as a Florida hurricane. But Hurricane Matthew... Hurricane Matthew nearly destroyed Haiti. And it went right through here and then made its way right through this channel over the Bahamas and the amount of 47 people lost their lives. Half of those in Florida. While technically not being a Florida hurricane. Hurricane Matthew was 2016. It killed another couple dozen up in North Carolina. It, it, I mean, absolutely insane amount of damage, but not technically a Florida hurricane, even though, let's see if we can show the images here. Yeah, not a Florida hurricane. Wait, wait, hold on, Mikey. What are you talking about? You see that eye wall? Didn't technically make landfall in Florida, so it doesn't count as a Florida hurricane, Hurricane Matthew. 
It's just unreal. But hey, Bill Nye, Bill Nye, you know, Mr. Science Guy, you might want to sit down. It's facts first time. It's facts first time. These people either don't have memories or they don't know how to use the internet, which is what the internet was created for, people not having memories, because you can't remember every single thing all the time, so you can go to the internet and you can search things historically. China's weather modification program, a lot of people thought, Florida Maki, Florida Maki, you were, you said there weren't, you said there were, I said the U.S. government wasn't doing it. I said the U.S. government wasn't doing it. I didn't say it didn't exist. It's China doing this. Who benefits? Who benefits from all of the financial cost that's laid on all of the rebuilding of hurricane after hurricane after hurricane after hurricane after hurricane? Who benefits? Does Washington, D.C. benefit? No. Does, does Kamala Harris benefit? No. no. Does Joe Biden benefit? No. China sure does, though. If we're broke... They become the world leader. Interesting engineer, one year ago, why China's weather manipulation is a matter of global concern. Now, some people are like, well, wait, Florida Maquis, you can't say that just one YouTube video is what you're basing this on. You know what this is? This is the National Library of Medicine, NIH. Seeding the clouds, published online 2019, May 18. Seeding the clouds to reach the sky. Will China's weather modification practices support the legitimization of climate engineering? This is Business Insider. The science section from 2020. China is massively expanding its weather modification program, saying it will be able to cover half of its own country in artificial rain and snow by 2025. Operation Popeye, March 20, 2018. Pop Psy. With Operation Popeye, the U.S. government made weather an instrument of war. As geoengineering projects soar, the declassified project is newly relevant. This was six years ago, this article. Another one in August. What was Project Popeye? During the Vietnam War in 1960s, U.S. forces attempted to use cloud seeding to make the Ho Chi Minh Trail impassable in Vietnam. Oh, by the way, there's a neat story about Donald Trump in Vietnam, by the way. An effort known as Project Popeye. Now, in the 70s, they didn't get it quite right. But Dubai just about wiped itself off the planet by goofing on this, and they flooded huge city. They fl it was absolutely insane. Now... Some people are saying, oh, wait a minute, okay, hold on. They, they didn't actually, it wasn't a sunny day and then it, was, it didn't all of a sudden start pouring rain. No, there were normal clouds there and there were rain clouds. And what Dubai and all these other countries have been trying to do is enhance. And the, the existing weather, enhance it. If it's going to rain a little bit, why can't we make it rain a lot? And we want it to rain a lot, but we want it to, to rain a lot where we want it to rain. So can we nudge these things one way or the other? Now, these are the same people who are saying cow farts cause climate change and that your SUV is the problem that can't simply go to any browser and type in why China's weather manipulation is a matter of global concern and foreignpolicy.com, foreignpolicy.com, even China, which has boldly set a target of becoming a climate resilient society by 2035, knows that it cannot totally insulate itself from the global impacts of rapid warming, which could include food price, blah, 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 blah. Is weather manipulation possible? Yes. Yes, it is. There are all sorts of factually provable articles and investigations into this that prove this is very real Mr. Science Guy, Bill Nye. I, I don't know what's wrong with these people. I mean, Bill, Nye, Bill Nye's an actor, okay? He's just an actor. So he needs to sit down and shut the hell up when he's talking about things he has no idea what he's talking about. Marjorie Taylor Greene, 
has a security clearance. Marjorie Taylor Greene can sit in on classified defense briefings on technologies and events and different things that Bill Nye would have no idea about. Let me say it again. She has a security clearance far higher than the vast majority of the people in the military. This is a very, very high security clearance for these people. So, all of you out there, and this, I know, I'm not trying to be snarky to my audience here, I'm more being snarky at the people that I know are listening to this video who are looking for a reason to either shadow ban it or to steer it another direction or suspend me or attack, do something or put a little banner at the bottom. Facts first. Facts first. I showed you all the links. I showed you all the places you can go. If you're going to go debunk me, I better see banners on all of those other articles as well that go back years and years and years. It's not... make They're parsing words is what they're saying. What they're saying is that oh, we can't make a hurricane appear over Nebraska. That's true. You see, that's if they would say that, they're not lying. They can't make, on a sunny blue day, you know, blue sky day, you know, in the, say, you know, the middle of April over Nebraska, they can't create a Category 5 hurricane. I agree. But does that mean they can't do things to augment and nudge existing storms to move them here, move them there, and make them giant rainmakers? Well, they sure can. They sure can. You see, that's been the real key here. With Helene and with Milton, these last two, it's been about the water. It's been about the water more than it's been about the wind. Has it not? And I've referred to Helene, and I'll continue to refer to Helene, as an atmospheric tsunami. Helene picked up and, and just ungodly amount of water, transported it over the panhandle of Florida, and dropped it on the Carolinas. Now, what's, you know, what, what makes that, you know, proof of anything? In this, vi there's a video that talks about China doing that exact thing. Getting clouds completely saturated, saturated, moving those clouds to where they need those clouds to be, and then having them release all of that water. That's ex literally exactly what China says, yeah, We've been experimenting with doing this. We need to do this. We want to do this. We have a huge population. We need to grow our own you know, food, and we need to have farmland that has water, and this is why we're doing it. And even they've said, well, you know what? It could affect weather patterns around the world. You know, doing this and you know, pulling you know, moisture out here can cause other problems other places. They've even said that's the case. So, facts first. Facts first. If you want to talk about global warming, look to China. If you want to talk about cloud seeding and weather manipulation, look to China. They're not even trying to hide it. This is uh, www.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. This is the crazy part. This is a government website. This is a government website that talks about weather manipulation. Our own U.S. government. It's not somebody saying our government's doing it. It's their actual own website. Business Insider. Popsci.com. Boot Camp Military Fitness. This is the conversation. I mean, all this stuff is vetted. All of this stuff is vetted. So... Here I am, the Florida Maquis, random YouTuber, going to a federal, Washington, D.C., federal government website, 
and correcting the President of the United States. It's just unreal. Just unbelievable. I mean, he doesn't even know what his own government's websites say about things that he is now saying don't exist. But it's evidence. It's evidence of people getting caught up in their emotions and not using their brains and not thinking. And the real, the real trap, folks, this is why I do this at the Patreon channel. This is why I do this at the Patreon channel. The real trap is there are a lot of people who are just going from one emotion to the next emotion to the next emotion, assessing those emotions, and that entire time, they believe they're thinking. They believe they're thinking when they're actually just assessing their emotions. Marjorie Taylor Greene says something. People don't like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Therefore, because their emotions say, I don't like Marjorie Taylor Greene, everything Marjorie Taylor Greene says must be wrong because of how I feel about Marjorie Taylor Greene. It's just unbelievable that nobody can, nobody in the news can do this, for sure. Facts first. Facts first. I'll leave it there. You want to join us at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel? Get read in psychological operations and how to use your brain and assess yourself? Am I just, you know, am I just believing people that say things because of how I feel about that person? Am I just, guys, be honest with you. Be honest with everybody about this, especially guys. See some girl, see some woman, real pretty, she, you know, she's got kind of your number. And just everything that falls out of her mouth just absolutely has credibility all the time. Happens to the best of us, doesn't it? Join us. Love to have you. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.